Why do divers shower and use tiny towels between dives? Even if you don't care much about sports, there's something magical about the Olympics. We cry happy tears for the winners, sympathize with the losers, yell at the TV, and high-five strangers. Every four years, we adjust to a different time zone, feel a little bit more patriotic, and get really good at recognizing flags and national anthems from around the world. Well, here are the top 10 facts about the Olympics that will blow your mind. We found some cool facts about it that you may not believe. Let's get it started. Coming at number 10, artists competing. From 1921 to 1948, artists participated in the Olympics too. In these games, painters, sculptors, architects, writers, and musicians all took part. They competed for medals in their respective fields, creating works of art that often celebrated the sporting successes going on at the same time. While artists stopped officially competing in 1948, many still design posters and other merchandise for the games today. Fun fact, Tarzan competed in the Olympics, Johnny Weissmuller, an athlete-turned-actor who played Tarzan in 12 movies, won 5 gold medals in swimming in the 1920s. That's quite impressive, don't you think? Coming at number 9, the three medals format. The medals awarded to competitors at the Olympics and Paralympics represent the highest levels of athletic achievement at the Games. In the ancient Olympics, winners were not given medals, but were awarded an olive wreath. Sometime later, there was just one medal, gold for the winner. The tradition of awarding gold, silver and bronze medals was only introduced at St. Louis 1904 Olympic Games. The design of the medals is the responsibility of the host city's organizing committee and varies with each edition of the Games. Coming at number 8. The Olympic Rings. The Olympic symbol was designed to include everyone, were first produced in 1913 from a design created by the game's modern founder, Baron Pierre de Coubertin. The five Olympic rings are symbolic of the five continents, and the colors were chosen because they all appear on the flags of all the competing nations around the world. The overlaps also represent international cooperation and the coming together of athletes from all over the world, so cute. Coming at number 7. The Olympic flame always lit. The Olympic torch is lit the old-fashioned way in an ancient ceremony at the Temple of Hera, in Greece. Actresses, wearing costumes of Greek priestesses, use a parabolic mirror and sun rays to kindle the torch. From there, the torch starts its relay to the host city. The relay torch and the Olympic flame are supposed to burn during the whole event and are virtually weatherproof. It can withstand extreme temperatures and roaring winds of up to 50 miles per hour. In case the flame goes out, it can only be reignited with a backup flame, which has been lit in Greece as well, and with never a regular lighter. Coming at number 6. Naked athletes. While today sporting events that involve nudity are considered scandalous or at least unplanned, in ancient Greece, it was one of the major Olympic traditions. While the first Olympiads saw athletes compete in loincloths, a runner called Orsippus changed the face of the games when he appeared naked, appealing to the nation as a symbol of Greekness. Nudity proved a sign of fearlessness, courage, and power. Was also considered a tribute to the gods. Did you know the word gymnasium comes from the Greek word gymnos which means naked? Participants would even lather themselves in olive oil to best show off their physique. Coming at number 5. Postponed or cancelled. The Summer Olympics is the biggest sporting event in the world, typically bringing more than 10,000 athletes from dozens of countries together every four years. It's extremely rare for the Summer or Winter Olympics to be postponed or cancelled. Since 1896, when the modern Olympic Games began, it has happened only six times, and it usually requires a war. Here's the full list. The last one marks the first time the competition has ever been temporarily postponed for a reason other than war. Coming at number 4, a symbol of friendship. While black Olympic icon Jesse Owens was busy embarrassing Nazi Germany and making history at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, two Japanese pole vaulters Shuhei Nashida and his friend Suyo Oi were set for a tiebreaker to decide who took silver and who took bronze. The duo decided to decline the tiebreak scenario and famously cut the two medals in half. They then fused the bronze with the silver to make two new friendship medals. Coming at number 3, a marathon without shoes. Marathon has been part of the modern Olympics since the first games in 1896, but it traces its origin to 490 BC when a Greek soldier named Phidippides ran a distance of around 40 kilometers from Marathon to Athens to inform the Athenians of the victory of their soldiers against the invading Persians. At the end of the run, he collapsed and died, but not before completing the task he was entrusted with. One of the most celebrated runners of the modern Olympics was Ethiopian legend Abebe Bikila a man showing immense mental resilience and determination. He won the Olympic marathon at the Rome Olympic Games in 1960. Amazingly he did it without the benefit of footwear. Running barefoot for the painstaking 26-mile run, Bikila became the first African in history to win a gold medal. For years later, and 40 days after surgery, he repeated the feat, this time with shoes on, to become the first to win the marathon twice. Coming at number 2, 
shower and tiny towels. The air temperature on the pool deck may be a little chilly, so the shower can help keep muscles warm. Diving is such a precise and fast twitch sport, if the diver gets a little cold and tight, it could really affect their performance. Then they dry themselves off with little towels, even though they will get wet again on their next dive. The tiny towels called chamois are portable and extremely water absorbent, allowing the divers to dry off quickly and stay warm. When the divers are flipping through the air, they are grabbing onto their legs and squeezing very tight. If their legs are wet, then there's a good possibility that their hands will slip off their legs and they will come out of the dive early which could result in injury and almost always lower scores. And finally number one, fake golden medals. Possibly one of our favorite facts about the Olympics. Sadly though, it's no longer the case. Despite the popular belief that the gold medal is composed of pure gold, this hasn't been the case since the 1912 Olympics. Today's Olympic gold medal is an imposter, made almost entirely from silver with approximately 6 grams of gold to meet the standard laid out in the Olympic Charter. The medals for the Summer Olympics in Tokyo were made from 80,000 tons of recycled electronics. The Tokyo Games gold medal weighs about 556 grams, which means an Olympic medal made of pure gold would cost close to $32,000 based on current market prices. Well, that's all. How many of our crazy Olympic facts did you know? And what is your favorite Olympic event? Let us know in the comments. In the next video we'll show you the top 10 most amazing waterfalls in the world. So don't forget to like and subscribe, also turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Or you could stay there and check out our other cool stuff.